Welcome, my name is Matt, or the Beast 34 and Today, I will be showing you how to make a Minecraft water portal in Minecraft 1.13 and above in vanilla Minecraft, and I am in Creative. So once you're in the game, you want to do the command slash give your name, Minecraft dash command underscore block, hit enter, and you will get a command block. And the next command you want to do is slash give your name, space 34, minecraft dash structure underscore void tab to autofill that and hit enter. So you'll get this structure void. So now go to the area where you want to place the water portal, dig two blocks like so then hit two more down and now drop in clear an area out back this is where we will put the redstone so you don't get an infinite looping portal so now dig this back a little bit a couple blocks back and bring that out so now place two command blocks over there grab some redstone hold control place it on top and now just bring it back about four blocks whatever you want so now grab a lever put that at the end and that will be the repeating command block so now in the command block you want to right click and this is where you'll enter the command so that is tp at a which means all players change that to at p if you want it to be a player just one player and at E for all entities or a name if you want a specific player. So I'm going to do at A distance tab to autofill that equals dot dot three brackets. This the two dots means less than three and a radius of less than three circular radius of the command block. All players will be teleported. If you were to not do the dots, that would be exactly three blocks away. All players will be teleported. If you were to do the dots after, that would be greater than three blocks radius away. That they would be teleported, which you do not want to do, so put the dots before. And here's where you'll enter the XYZ. So for now just hit done and let's get the coordinates. So you may need to clear your chat with F3 plus D. So now once we find the place where we want to go. We hit F3 and it brings up the XYZ coordinates. So I'm going to enter these into the chat, which is the easiest way I find. And then I can easily see them when I'm entering them in. So I enter that in the chat, get rid of that with F3, and now enter them in the command block. And that is the full command, but you want to change this to repeat, unconditional, needs redstone. Hit done. Now right click again on the same block, hit control A. To Select all, control C to copy, and paste this in the other command block, control V. Change that to repeat, unconditional, needs redstone. So now they aren't activated, but if you were to flick the lever, it teleports you exactly to where I said. So let's turn that off for now while we work on the water portal. So place two blocks above. Now you can design your water portal however you want. And do a standard design I do. So that is my design. Now let's block up the back so water can't escape there. And here is where you get your water bucket. Place two at the top like that. And now this is where the structure voids come in. So you place one here and just keep on going up until the water is blocked out like that. So now the corners aren't blocked out, or yep, they are actually, so you may have to wait a little bit. So these structure voids basically block any material or liquid or, or whatever, water or lava, it blocks. And you can step right through them. So now to test if your water portal works, go down, flick the lever to make sure it's on, walk into it and you're teleported. If you want to change the radius, if it's like off a little bit, you can always change this to 0.3. So 
So that's it for the quick remake of the water portal in Minecraft 1.13 or above. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.